Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, my home garden. Friends, today we're going to talk about 10 hardy vegetables which we can grow in winters. These are the 10 hardy soldiers which stays with us throughout this hard period of time when no other vegetable survives or no other plants or flowers survives. So, let's start. So the first hardy soldier uh, which I love to grow in my garden is uh, the spinach. Spinach loves cool weather. Seeds will germinate within 2 to 3 days of sowing. Keep spinach weed free. Provide some sort of cover when the frost starts because spinach leaves will send frost. Spinach grows very fast so you can harvest the first crop within 2 to 3 weeks. You can grow spinach in the pot or in the planters. So the second hardy soldier which I love the most is the radishes. The best radish to grow in winter is the elongated china rose radish or I love to grow daikon the Indian mooli radish. Daikon is super easy to grow and the crop gets ready within a month. So start to grow radishes early in the fall so you will have one or two crops before even the winter starts. Always grow radish in the soft soil quarter inch deep and at least two to three inch apart. You can also grow chunky Spanish black radish or the watermelon radish. The third uh, vegetable which I love to grow as well is uh, the carrots. Carrots are hardy up to minus 2 degrees temperature. Like all root vegetables, carrots need very soft soil to grow. Carrot seeds are very tiny. So when you are growing carrot seeds, make sure you spread them evenly on the ground. Make straight rows and sow the seed half inch deep and one inch apart. Row spacing should be 12 inch or one feet apart. Sow the seeds gently with soil and leave them to germinate. Seeds will germinate in 10 to 12 days. Carrots don't grow quickly like radishes. It takes three months for carrot to grow to its full size and ready for harvest. So it's always wise to start growing carrots in early fall or even late spring. Remember to mulch the ground properly when the winter sets in. Because carrots don't show up above the ground like radishes, so it's always wise to dig around the carrot to see if they are fully grown. The fourth hardy vegetable which I love to grow is uh, spring onions. The best variety of spring onion to grow in September October is White Lisbon. It's a super hardy variety and it can be grown in ground or in the pots. Grow the seed in compost and keep the soil moist. Spring onions grow quickly and will be ready to go in your salad within few weeks. They can also be grown in pots from seeds or the old onion bulbs. Remember to keep the soil moist but do not waterlog the soil. It rotens the onions. Spring onions grown from seeds can take little longer to be ready for harvest. The fifth hardy vegetable which I love to grow in winter is turnips. Like all root vegetables, turnips need soft soil to grow. Like radishes, turnips also grow very fast. Turnip leaves are also edible just like radishes. While growing turnip, make sure you keep a gap of up to 6 inches between two plants. This allows the turnips like other root vegetables to grow to a good size. Turnips can be harvested within 3-4 to four weeks of growing. So start growing turnips in early fall and you can have 2-3 to three crops before winter. Turnips love cool weather so they grow equally well in winters as well. And the sixth vegetable which I love to grow in winters is uh, garlic. Garlic is one vegetable which is super easy to grow and is completely maintenance free. Start sowing your garlic in early fall. You will see the plant growing in a couple of weeks and then you can harvest the leaves all through the winter. The garlic will be ready to harvest in summer. Make sure to properly mulch your garlic during the winter season. Choose bigger clothes to get the best result. The seventh vegetable which I love to grow in winter is lettuce. We can start growing lettuce in early fall when the weather starts to cool down. Lettuce can be grown in pots or ground. Sow seeds 1 fourth of an inch deep and 12 inch apart. Harvest the outer leaves regularly or the whole bulb. So the eighth vegetable which I grow in my winter garden is the broad beans. 
these are the big chunky uh, seeds which you just put in the ground and then literally forget about them they grow through the winters they will you know get good roots during all the winter period and when the spring and the summer comes they suddenly you know start to grow fast and then you have your first harvest by May. like other winter vegetables broad beans are very hardy they can tolerate little frost and even the snow as well so this makes it the best crop to grow through winters into the summers the ninth hardy vegetable which i love to grow is the peas the only thing about peas is you just need to give them the support when you are putting them in the ground that's the only thing you have to take care of and they will grow quickly and give you good harvest within few months peas can be grown either in the pot or in the ground make sure you allow adequate space for the plants to grow properly pea plants always need support so use some trellis or bamboo canes or whatever you have at your disposal in this pot i'm only going to put four to five plants so that they can grow properly and as you can see i have also provided them support right from the beginning So if you put the seeds now you will have the first harvest even before the frost sets in and then you keep getting your you know peas throughout the seed they're easy to grow and you just need to uh, give some cover when the frost or the you know the snow sets in so friends the 10th vegetable which i love to grow in winters is uh, cauliflower uh, or spring cabbage because they are both from the same family you can grow either of them or both of them cauliflower or cabbage they both grow to a big size Always use a bigger pot for growing the cauliflower. You can start the cauliflower or cabbage in the trays like this. However, finally they need to go into a firm soil. So, but the uh, problem with the cauliflower and the spring cabbage is uh, pests also love them a lot. So you have to be on the top of it. Keep your neem oil and dishwasher soap solution ready, so that even if you see a slight hint of uh, infestation, just start spraying it. Keep spraying every few days, so that you know you don't get that problem. Otherwise, they are super easy to grow, and you can have lovely uh, cauliflower within few weeks. So I hope you like the video. Uh, please like and share with your friends. Don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.